Alright, welcome back to episode 7 of my Benevito, Benevito series in CK2. Something that happened last episode is Middle Francia broke out of West Francia. They had a whole bunch of independence wars as well. These three guys broke off. Uh, then they're also having a revolt to overthrow the current king. They're also having this revolt, which is uh, an East Francian revolt. <laughs> uh, Picardy's uh, completely free. I think Pignatois took some land. Maybe. I think this guy was free. I'm not sure. Well, anyways. Yeah, they're imploding, basically. Which, I don't know if that's very good for the Catholic faith, because you got the Umiads down here, and uh, West Francia's little enclave right here in the middle of Hispania broke away, of course, and they're probably going to get swallowed up by the Umiads or Seville, who... 700 troops again? Nah. This guy and this guy are probably going to get eaten by the Umiads and Astorius may get eaten as well by the Umiads. But uh, West Francia is not having a good time either. Saxony is looking alright. They, uh, they may reform the faith actually if they can manage to get the uh, lands are more of this land right here, I think. I believe that's their holy lands. So we may see a reformed Germanic faith. And then my liege managed to beat his revolts. Which, like, I thought they were stacked against his favor. Or against his favor. And then also took this dude over because he broke away from the Byzantines and they become they became iconoclast last episode but uh let's see negative four right now because I raised the troops and they thought it I also have a <clears throat> unjust war and a band of the commoners which might actually go away in a year but uh basically because uh, I started that war I have declared unjust war until I 805 which is 10 years away oh it is my character anyways so yeah that won't that won't decay away until I'm 54 uh my daughter you're shrewd I don't want to get stressed I don't want to become bitter rivals so uh yeah you must learn on your own you're already a decent enough character I'll find you a good husband you can matrilinearly marry. Mat matrilinearly. Uh, you know, never mind. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Right. Uh, Cunibert has finished his education in the way of the faith. He's greedy and slothful. Yes, and he's also a detached priest. Yeah, I think this is the one that I, like, oh yeah, this is my brother that I screwed over. Because I didn't want to give them an intrigue focus, I think. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and find you a wife and just give you someone. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use this. It's a lot better. Let's, uh, let's give them a good steward. Just quick, greedy temperate uh will you marry my brother yeah okay there you go friend have yourself that person not having a strong west francia may not be a good thing for the catholic faith at least Let's see it's actually better than it was last episode. It was like 68 last episode. Oh! Count Doffer, Barry, let everyone know about my plot to kill that dude. 
during a drunken stupor at the local tavern. Ah, oh, well. Thanks, man. Now he definitely hates me. Does that... No, that doesn't mess with the plot, though. Actually... Now that... Shieti... I want to see if I can get this up more. And go ahead and stay with this plot, but it's decreased by like 40%. Uh, what can I possibly do to endure Count Mao? Uh, let's see. So what kind of man is Count Mao? Is he... Let's try that one, the less aggressive approach. See if it works. Despite all the care I put into preparing his gilf, Count Ma Mao claimed that he would have preferred it if I limited myself to a simple letter wishing him good health. <laughs> okay then. Let's speed this up. I agree, Salan, but you know. I thought maybe I might take over this dude's land when I won the war, but yeah, guess not. Can I revoke his title? Base? I can't revoke base. Yeah, no, he definitely won't convert for me. Uh, let's see. Give me cultural. Maybe it did? I'm not sure. Couldn't tell which one raised there. Ah, this is about to go away. Can I rightfully imprison? I can imprison Mao. For whatever reason. I think he's in my... Wasn't he the one that spilled the beans on me trying to get rid of this dude? I can't remember. Ah, my co-conspirator Count Radigar has sent word that the carriage Count Theophilus Philos, is traveling on will suffer an unfortunate accident leaving no survivors. Good. Blue that take care takes care of him. Yet another morning when I wake, feeling as tired as when I went to bed. I should do something about my listless mind. Perhaps I need to spend some time alone. Yeah, sure. You still like me, right? Alright, good. Ah, it has ended and... Hopefully it's diligence. Hopefully it's diligence. And it didn't get anything. And it was a success. That dude's gone. What would yours look like, no? Let's do this too. You know I planned it planned on taking his land anyway. Send a gift to you. How much is that going? Oh, 100? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, let's see if uh, if we kill his entire lineage, whether I get the land or not. And then maybe a berry and uh, a polia. <laughs> I'll see if I can get poet. I like poet. No. Okay. So, I get Aspiring Falconer. It's the Lombards at war with. Oh, they're at war with quite a few people. See, they're defending against the Doge of Amalfi. Oh, that's uh, excommunication war. 
they compress? Oh, he's Catholic? That's why I compress it. I thought because he was under the Byzantines that he would be Orthodox. Who's all in this one? Oh, guys, just them two. And then, uh, I don't even try to pronounce that word. Of Sardinia is, uh, in a border dispute, I guess. Yeah, over this land right here. It's on that one. Sardinia and someone else from the Byzantine Empire. And then he has a truce with uh, the Duke of uh, Montania. God, I wonder what this area is going to look like when this is all over. Alright, who needs education? Oh, you're good with Marshall, so I'm going to struggle. You have great box as well. Um, heir, who is attractive. What should I give him? I guess struggle, since it's just your best one. You know, I would give him thrift, but he's got zero stewardship. How old is my character? 46? I don't know. I don't think I'll become a paragon of virtue, but I'm might if I can keep this character alive for another 30 years. Uh, my daughter has finished her... She's a brilliant strategist. A... I'm gonna go ahead and use this. It's much more reliable for me. Uh, slot one. It's the men. For geniuses first. That of our good age friend. Uh, would you like to marry my daughter? Vanilla. I would. Would that be me who loses 200? Yeah, I think it would. He's a genius. He's a genius who has... Oh, he's club-footed. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not him. That dude's an administrator. Do I marry him to my daughter and hope that our kids don't get the club -footed? Oh, you're... Ooh. You're 27. But this dude's 32. And he's willing to do it. Hey, go ahead. I don't care if she... If the kid gets... Kids get club-footed. Yeah. Um. Hopefully he doesn't die in this war. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Crap. I thought I. I thought I matrilineally married her. Crap. Well. See ya, Han Hanilia. You know, I live up there. I pressed the wrong button. I should have realized that when that great, great character said yes, that <laughs> it wasn't matrilineal. Oh, I should have known. Well, that was a mistake on my end. Oh! She has returned. Sorry about that. Dog's barking. Uh, she's returned. What happened to her, to her previous? It would be right here if it died. So I have no idea what just happened. She just showed up at court one day. It's like, hey, dad, I need a place to stay again. She's mad. Yeah. Well, here's a 13-year-old. Yeah, uh, arrange, patrol, make sure that that's checkmarked, and then, yeah. Oh, and this will gave me three. Yeah, go ahead. You marry him. 
the other one didn't work out, you don't have to keep uh, this guy when he turns eight of age. Yeah. What else? This place, right there. Uh, I guess I'll go back into seclusion. Pray a bit. How's my learning look? Five? Okay. And it has ended, and... If I keep getting this event up, make it Paragon of Virtue, actually. Let's see. Do I get Temperate or Diligent? No, I do not. Uh, daughter... Let's see. Your stats are good, so, uh, yeah. You don't need any of my help. Fortunately, because of that very short marriage, I am at negative 24 prestige. So I'm in the negative once again. You can be... What does... Playful on top? Uh, what's this one do? Timid and affectionate. Let's try humility. That's diplomacy and learning. This is the one that gives you, uh, yeah, that one gives you entry. Let's try humility on her. A mysterious Jewish man has offered his service at your court. Is well versed in feudal court intrigue and has a past as both a mercenary and a spy. If he can be trusted, he could very well prove to be an invincible asset in your council. Indeed. What are you good at, friend? Why do you? Um, an infidel, a deceitful versus honest, legion's cruel, stubborn, I am a foreigner. Oh, and he's a great entry character. Don't kill me, please. That's all I ask. And my son. Six. He's got good diplomacy, but I want him to take thrift, because that's why I give all my characters, basically. Be a thrifty person. So I can have more land. Oh, what do you have a revolt now for? Oh, this is for someone else. Or it's not me. How many troops do you have? 7,000? Well, he managed to pull the other war, and that dude had more troops than him, but not as many as this dude has. So... I don't know how this one's gonna end. It looks like it's more in favor to the revolt than the actual Lombards. Oh, wait, I have a bunch. Yeah, I'm gonna resist my foul urges, but uh, how many people do I have in prison? One? Who is she? Elise. Is that, you know. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and keep her in there. Because, uh, you know. I don't need more people who hate me in the, uh, in the kingdom. Uh, daughter was born. Was born. Let's see, which one of these is a good name? Give her Maria there. That's an easy to pronounce word. Uh, who wants to be renamed? My daughter who killed my first heir. Yeah, we'll call her the Dove. Give her the same nickname as I think my brother has. Yeah. Something just happened over here. And what? I'm not sure what happened exactly. Yeah, I'll ask him, uh, what do you want? Oh, is, is this my... Okay. This is a genius? No, this is a quick one. She's frail, too. Content and Craven. Alright, she changed a bit since, uh, I last seen her. Ah, oh, yes, finally we can talk private. About the game. Uh, charitable or stubborn? I guess charitable. I want them to like me more. Yeah. 
me. He locks me. He's also my most powerful vassal, so I gotta make sure that he locks me. And uh, I have quite a bit of funds now, so uh, oh, the barracks. What's the barracks increase? 70 infantry, 30 pikemen. These are cheaper. I'm gonna do the militia grounds first, and that'll be done in two years. Cause I need more troops. If I can, don't have to worry about these guys. And I'm, I'm speed five. Oh, this game's only been going for 29 years. I'm already on. Wow, I paused a lot. Emma wants to learn how to whistle. Uh, she might get me. Uh, let's give her brooding, I guess. I'm not sure what that gives her. No, she gained timid, which is uh, learning. Alright. Oh, Serbia got big. I think that's what I saw. Oh. Oh, man. Look how big that Serbia is. But they only have around 5,000 troops. Yeah, I guess that, that makes sense, the tribal. Wow. How many vassal troops? Vassal allied troops. Ooh, she's got 11,000. The tribal, but that's a big amount of uh, troops. If the Byzantines wanted to, they could probably crush them, but uh, anyone else around them? I would be worried. Who needs education? Uh, should diplomacy. Uh, well, actually, you're a kinswoman. Uh, or yeah, a kinswoman. I'll give you diplomacy. The church is a greedy thing. It's a greedy thing who always needs more alms, but I have deep pockets, and it's for a good cause. Four point three gold lost. Alrighty. It'd be nice if they'd give me piety, but you know, Lumiads are gonna are having a revolt. Uh, 4,000, or almost 5,000 troops against 2,000. What's this war over? Uh, oh, this is to increase council power. Yeah, that's why I sort of, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't deal with this war. I can't change this until 800, and then, how's my council even look? You're malcontent, you're a pragmatist, and you're got someone else's favor. Glory hound, glory hound. Uh, my daughter has finished her education in stewardship. Well, let's see. I'm to a matrilineal marriage. Two. This is 20. Oh, wait. The. Two should be. No, these are just. Okay. It doesn't have my filter on. Not women. Uh, men. Age. Let's. Yeah, I got thirty-one year old. Genius, ambitious. Uh, let's try quick. Uh, yep. Quick. Now we have a twenty-seven year old. It's in a lot. Arranged marriage. Matrilineal. Make sure I check that. Another 200 prestige yet. You know, maybe I should go for the last, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's do this, because I don't, I don't, hmm, I can't deal with the prestige yet that I keep getting. Oh. You are 49, so no. Seem like you'll be, uh, you're the Duke of Spoleto. Range. No, I don't think this is gonna work. Yes. No, I did think so. Petty King of Cornwall, Prince, Duke, High Chief, Petty King. You wanna marry my daughter, Mr. Uh. You. Nope. All right. Darn. These are 
Mercenary captains, basically. People who are in charge of the mercenaries. The conductieri. Oh, the Pope and Trier. No. Prince Bishops, 42. Oh, oh you're 17, and your account. You're dull, groomed, and frail. Uh, do you want to marry my daughter, Major Lindley? Probably not, because your account. Didn't think so. You're Prince Bishop. No, you're 40. Your account. Do you want to marry my daughter, Major Lindley? I don't think a lot of these guys will, because I they're, they, yeah, they have land. Uh, it's 58. You're 14. Not a lot of people. I just hate getting that prestige hit. Marrying all these courtiers to my daughters. I guess I'm gonna have to deal with it because uh, these guys. Oh. Track away. Just give her, give her a quick husband. If any of them were marrying age. So you're 11. Arrange a betrothal matrilineally to my daughter. Oh, you don't allow it. Okay, then. Yeah, how about... Yeah, the original guy. Yep. Arrange marriage matrilineally to my daughter. Yep, okay. I'll take 200 prestige yet. I'm... Yeah, there it is. Yes, uh... Yeah, they progressed. Let's see, technology. Cultural, cultural, cultural. It wasn't cultural. It was something else. Also, by the way, can I hit these right here? Not yet. Unless these actually have one in, so I don't need to hit them. The only ones I need to hit are cavalry, skirmish techniques, and um, melee techniques. Oh, who died? A steward must have died or something. Oh, you like me. But you're a horrible steward. Let's see. You have horrible stewardship. Uh, you have a nine, and you're content. So go ahead. Hopefully, he doesn't let uh smugglers into the, my domain. But uh, with that, I believe I'm going to end this episode. Thank you for watching, and goodbye, friends.